crafters, it's Fiona Whitehead here again, craftystamping.blogspot.com and I've got another little tutorial for you today. It's um, the Joy of Sets is the Facebook group that I run for all Stampin' Up! sets, whether they're current or retired and we do a monthly challenge over there and we it is birthstones and this month the challenge is um, Peridot is the birthstone for August, I found out, and that's green. So it's everything to do with the green cards. So this is the green card that I put up, which is this um, delightful little uh, Daisy Easel card. This was one I saw um, similar to this by Dawn Griffiths. Um, I love her videos. And um, I can't remember what set she used. I think it was an old card that, that she's done, but I'm not quite sure. And so I used Daisy Delight for this, and this is my um, entry into the um, challenge. Although it's my challenge, so I don't win. Um, and I've also done a different one, which is using the Coffee Cafe, also with the green. So I thought I'd pop a little video up just to show you how to do these. I mean, they're so simple. Look, they just fold down like that and then they pop up like this. So I, I think we're all daisied out. So I'm going to use the uh, Coffee Cafe. Um, and I did do green for this. I'm going to just do slightly different colours here, a bit, bit more brown. But um, right, let's go. Let's show you how to do this one. So you start off with your normal piece of cardstock folded in half to make your card and then we are going to cut the two sides of our card don't panic don't panic i believe panicking already so we get our lovely stamping trimmer which i adore especially for cutting something like this and we're going to cut either side of this cardstock one and a half inches either side down from the fold where you folded it in half down and it's easier if you to just turn the cardstock over and then one and a half inches down to the fold, which is about there. So you get sort of little legs on your card, look, see? Little leggies. You can do these any size as you like. This is just the size I've done. You could do a really, really narrow one or a really, really fat one. So um, anyway, so the next bit is um, let's pretty it up with some designer series paper. And I'm using the Coffee Cafe Suite, as I said, because I love this suite. And I'm using these papers. Look, aren't they gorgeous? I do like coffee. And it has to be dark and it has to be black. And it has to be strong and it has to taste of coffee. I can't be doing coffee tasting the milk. So that's just my little thing. So these are two little bits of designer series paper. And they are funny little sizes, one and three eighths by three and seven eighths. But it'll depend, obviously, on what size you decide to do your edges. So um, all the measurements will be on my blog anyway. I shall pop over there and do them for you to copy. There we go. So that's this bit. Now this bit is quite simple. We're just going to fold that in half. You can score it if you want, but it's, it's easiest just to fold it. It's fine. And then you know exactly that it's halfway. Now these little bits here, they get glued down. Keep them out of the way. Like that, and like that. Simple. Now we've got a little piece of white here, which is two and uh, six eighths by three and six eighths. Um, I should have popped that in there really just before I glued that down, shouldn't I? There we go. No, actually, I'll just take that because that's not quite. It's just a little bit too big, and I want it a little bit narrower than that. So we'll just snip off a little bit of that. I've obviously done one of my bits a little bit too too big. There we go, because I want to see a little bit of the brown. I'm using uh, the soft suede cardstock here, keeping it all in the old cappuccino colours. There we go. Let's just pop that down. Before we do that, I've just stamped on the bottom. Cause this is the Coffee Cafe Suite, in case you haven't seen it yet. I love it, I love it. And I'm just stamping those little um, coffee beans. And I'm going to do them in the soft suede, just around, along the bottom. They just give it a little bit more of an added touch. These are darker coffee beans. So you can use any colour you like. Well, that soft suede always surprises me. I always expect it to be not quite so dark. And it is darker than I thought. But there we go. It's still okay, isn't it? And for these bits here, I've got some of the uh, some more of the designer series paper, but it's um, the coffee beans. See, see how I did that? It's as if I planned it. You know, 
it really is as if I planned it. So let's pop those on there. Now let's just have a look at our pieces here. They are a little bit too big, so we're just going to take a little bit of trimming off those pieces. These are just some scraps that I had. So you see, it just plays never to throw away your scraps. You never know when they may come in handy. And, um, you know, I wouldn't have wanted to cut a whole sheet out just for these little bits. So they almost nearly fitted, didn't they? So they're fine. They're going to go on there like that and on there like that. So let's just pop those on. There we go. And put that one on there as well. So you can see it's very coffee-ish, isn't it? I like coffee, I like tea. Right, so we're going to do the coffee thing, the um, the mug. And I've used a little bit of our burlap ribbon as well. Uh, just along the edge here, here it is. I'm just going to pop that on there. Just for another little added bit of interest. Let's just cut that. As you can see, you know, I'm not, I don't go manic about measuring things. You know, I'm, I'm a crafter, I'm not an engineer. It drives my husband mad because he is an engineer and everything has to be just right. But I'm crafty. There we go. Let's pop that on there and then just trim that little bit off. I could use my snips, but I do find slightly bigger scissors are a little bit better for the burlap ribbon. Now I have punched, I've um, used the Big Shot already because you don't want to see me what, doing this. And this is this lovely die here that comes with the set and it gives it that lovely ribbed, so it's like the coffees you get in the coffee shops. So that's simply that one. And we're going to stamp the sentiment on there, which is um, Life Happens, Coffee Helps. And this one, I think I'd used the um, crumb cake, but I don't think it's come dark enough. So I'm going to use the soft suede just to make it pop a bit more. There we go. Let's just pop that on there like that. There, that's better. I like that one better. And then we do have the um, stamp as well for the frame of it. See, I tend to cut mine out first and then stamp over them, um, as opposed to stamping them and then cutting them out with the big shot. I just find that easier. And I'm going to use the crumb cake just for the border. I do love all these browns. I'm an earthy girl, so I love browns and greens and all things like that. Now, I think this needs a bit of foam, although I can't have cream because I'm dairy free, but it doesn't mean that my card can't have it. So let's pop that on there like that. See, I've cut it out already. I just find it easier to do. There you go. Look at that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. For those of you who can have it, but I can't. Right, just going to put a tiny little bit of snail on the back of there and pop that onto our coffee cup like so. And then I'm going to add those onto the um, burlap here with a dimensional. See, I hope this has all been that looked as though that was way off camera then. If that's been all off camera, I'm going to have to redo all this. We shall see when I um, have a look back. Make sure, because I can't see what my phone is doing up there. I really need to get a decent camera so I can see what I'm doing at the same time. There we go. Just pop that on there. Now, just to make it stand up, we need something to make it stand up. So I've used one of these lovely embellishments that we have that come with this set. These little corrugated embellishments. I love them. There's, there's the little tag and there's a heart and then... The little tag has the little tag in the set that goes on there. So I'm just going to use the oval for now. And I'm using the Thanks a Latte, which I have already done, because again, I didn't think you wanted to watch me just throw that through the big shot. And we do get the little cutout with the framelits that comes with them as part of the set. There it is there. So that's that. So I'm just going to pop that on, pop that on there, and then use a dimensional again just to pop that on there, because that'll make it stay. I suppose this might be a little bit bulky for posting, but um, such a cute little card. There we go. So those are the three examples of the folded up easel card. There's that one, there's that one, and there's the daisy one. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you'd like to purchase through me, all the um, products can be bought from my shop. You'll see find all the links below. 
And if you're in the Hampshire area and want to come to my classes, do pop along. I'd love to see you. Thank you. Bye.